Hey you guys, I want to give you a little wonderful demonstration using just a tablet and a pencil to mark pages. So I'm going to open up Wonderfold here on the iPad. By the way, Wonderfold works on iPad, iPhone, Android, your desktop, your laptop. It works on every device. Um, so I'm going to open up Wonderfold here on the iPad and open up this pattern that I already made on the computer. Uh, and now I'm going to use the tablet to mark it. So here's the pattern itself. Uh, it's a two-tone mouse. You may have seen it if you've been uh, watching in my Facebook group. Um, so to use, uh, to mark it on the tablet, I'm going to use this ruler mode. Um, now if you're using one millimeter precision. I like to use 1.5 uh, millimeter uh, because it will smooth out all the curves. But if you're using one millimeter, you will see that when you switch over to ruler mode, some of these edges that are a little bit jagged will get smoother. That's because in the table view, it's giving you a preview of what it looks like rounding everything to one millimeter. If you're using the ruler, it doesn't need to round anything. Um, and so everything is going to look really nice and smooth and sharp. Um, so hopefully you can see the difference there. Uh, so I find it easiest to work from the back of the book and work forward. So I've been marking up this book. I left off on page 209. So the next page to mark is 207. Uh, so I can get to 207 easily by tapping around, finding where I want to go. Um, and then these arrows can help me get right to the exact page. And I'm going to slide my book in underneath the tablet like this so that I can line up the pages on top of it. Um, and then I'm ready to start marking. Um, so if you're marking like this, the, the screen can be kind of sensitive. So I'm going to hit lock scrolling, uh, and that's going to lock the screen. It will actually still scroll up and down on the iPad, but tapping I can't um, tap anything down here. Um, this just prevents me from accidentally exiting or, or changing things. Um, and so with the screen locked here, tapping anywhere on the right side up above the ruler will go to the right one page. Tapping anywhere on the left side will take me to the left. Um, and that's going to make it quick and easy to do this marking. So I'm on page 207, and I want to start marking. So I'm just going to make sure that the edge is lined up to the ruler, make my marks. And then tap to go to page 205. I'm going to mark 205. That one is easy. This is a two-tone pattern, so you're going to see a lot of alternation between long lines and short lines. So there's page 205. I'm going to mark 203. Um, and that's kind of the whole process. So I'm going to mark it, flip the page, go back, mark it. Flip the page, go back. And after a few pages, I might want to um, tuck them behind the tablet and start with another stack again. So I can always check the page number here against this page number 
uh, to avoid making mistakes. And that is the process of marking a page with a tablet, pencil, and Wonderfold. Um, so try it out. I hope you guys like it. This was one of the first ideas I had that got me really excited uh, about making Wonderfold when I decided to create it.